Now, a young New Zealanders say the Prime Minister needs to tell world leaders to stop dithering and actually do something to avoid a global climate change catastrophe. Jacinda Ardern's in New York to attend the UN General Assembly and she's to address the UN Summit on Climate Change overnight New Zealand time. But her speech comes in the wake of a dire omnibus report which details in stark terms how the climate is changing faster than forecast. Hamish Cardwell filed this report. Another day, another terrifying climate change report. This one from the World Meteorological Organisation, which covers the five years to June, pulls together the latest science to help inform world leaders at the UN's Climate Action Summit in New York. It says the telltale signs of climate change, sea level rise, ice loss and extreme weather, has increased over the period, which was the warmest on record. It says countries must triple their climate emissions targets to limit global warming to two degrees. New Zealand climate scientist Professor James Renwick says the report lays out how bad things really are. Time has run out, really. We need to be seeing action immediately. We need to turn off the tap of carbon emissions starting right now. The world's leaders with the power to act on the existential threat are meeting at the UN in New York overnight New Zealand time. And New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern's got the chance to address them all. She's giving a short speech to the UN Climate Summit, where she's expected to outline New Zealand's approach to agriculture and climate change. Sophie Hanford is a national coordinator for the nationwide school's climate change strike happening this Friday. She says this year's summit could be the last chance for global action and Ms Ardern needs to seize the moment. I think bold action and ambitious action are two really main points which I think it's important that, you know, Jacinda kind of brings about in that conversation because the time for talking is over. We're getting to the point where it really is crunch time and it's a moment in history that if we let slip by we might not have a world to pass on to the future generations. Generation Zero's James Young Drew says he wants Ms Ardern to take the opportunity to announce concrete plans to slash New Zealand's emissions. And we're hoping that the Prime Minister will be making tangible commitments to show how New Zealand is planning to halve its emissions in the next decade, uh, as well as issuing support and um, tangible ways that we can help other countries to do the same thing. Professor Renwick agrees the planet's running out of time and the world leaders at the UN meeting must come out with a clear strategy. If we allow the climate to change so much that all of our agricultural production around the world is severely affected, water supplies around the world are severely affected, uh, sea level rise displaces hundreds of millions of people, it's hard to imagine just how catastrophic that could be. So... We are sitting on an absolute time bomb here if we don't take action. Ms Ardern is to speak again on climate change tomorrow morning New Zealand time at a UN forum to major business leaders and heads of state and government. The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres will issue a summary of commitments from world leaders at the end of the summit. For Checkpoint, Kohamish Cardwell, TNA.